that can create hazards, and it does create hazards, and we need to make sure we're, we're working as safely as we possible in creating awareness. So this month, we're, the subject is hand tools. And uh, hand tools, we don't think of being as, as dangerous as a table saw or a joiner or a planer or some of the power tools, but they are. It's a very common reason for emergency room treatment. And to talk about that today is David Weissman. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, for those who know, uh, yes, I do. I am, I am on the safety committee. Uh, all the safety committee people here, raise your hands so people know who's doing safety work. And yes, I did hurt myself on a machine. Uh, and no, I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> But I do want to thank all the members of the shop who have reached out to me. Um, it's really great to have a community of people who support each other. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, let's see. There we go. This is a letter, recent letter to fine woodworking. Last Sunday, I was using a chisel to square up a corner that the router left rounded. I was not being careful and had my left hand in front of the work area. Before I knew what happened, I had freshly sharpened a half-inch chisel slice through my thumb. Um, how many of you have done that? There we go. But by the way, thank you all to all of you who've come up to me to tell me your horror stories. <laughs> uh, Tool-related injuries. This is an old study. This is uh, almost 30 years old now. But hammers, chisels, gouges, and table saws were most frequently reported in association with injuries. But the highest tool-specific injury rates were joiner planers, chisels, gouges, and drill presses. I wouldn't know anything about drill presses. Um, so yes, um, you can get quite serious injuries uh, from chisels. Um, I don't have to go through the specifics. Uh, chisels using, paring, chopping, carving, but not glue scraping. And uh, if you've been involved at all with sharpening the chisels out here, uh, please don't use them for glue, glue uh, scraping. We have scrapers. Don't, please don't use chisels. They are really high performance tools. Um, so. A little note about that. Here's my colleague, Paul, <laughs> nicely demonstrating how to cut your hand. And uh, Paul and I teach all the hand tool classes. And we spend, I would say, at least half of our time running around the room uh, having people not do things to hurt themselves. So there's really only two, two rules in using uh, chisels. Uh, one is both hands behind the cutting tool. And two, or two is to secure the wood. Um, if you do those two things, you should be, should be pretty good. So we're going to go through the don'ts and the do's. The don'ts, don't use a wood chisel as a pry or a wedge. Don't use a ch wood chisel on metal. Don't hold the work with one hand while chiseling with the other hand. Don't use a chisel with a chipped edge or a dull chisel, though it tends to slide off the wood and you lose control. Once it goes uh, we talked about not removing glue and really try to keep them from falling off the bench. I know it's hard. It happens to all of us, but um, that's a great way to screw up your chisel. The do's. Uh, use a sharpened chisel, wear eye protection, secure the wood, clamp, vise, bench dogs, and I'll show you some examples of that. Always be cutting away from your body. Keep both hands behind the blade. And be very aware when reaching for and setting down tools. Um, that's when you end up with those really nasty little cuts on the end of your fingers. Um, so try not to do that. All right, in terms of wood holding, uh, multiple ways to hold wood. Let me see if I can go back. So we've got a standard clamp on the left. In the middle is a hold fast. On the right are bench dogs. And I'll show you in a minute where these are in the shop. And if you're not familiar with how to use any of these tools, come take our Introduction to Hand Tools class, where we'll talk about them. Two more, uh, what's called a bird's mouth. And there's our good colleague Paul demonstrating, as well as a bench hook or shooting board. All of these can be used to secure the wood. Uh, table one, side two, uh, the second drawer down has bench dogs and uh, bench hooks in them. And really, the exact same rules apply to all these other tools, um, screwdrivers, awls, uh, chisels, gouges. So that's it. Stay alert. Stay safe. <laughs>